take 439. Yeah. We're not very good at talking to uh, No. We are Happy Hollow, and we're here to dive into the creation of Put Up The Fight. That's the right yeah. one, right? Yeah, that's the one. Virginia, what, what does this song mean to you? Is it a very female empowering <laughs> song that is very obvious you wrote because you mentioned she and her and I and it sounds like a yeah. classic Virginia song so <laughs> what does it mean to you? Um I don't know when I was writing the song I started off like I wrote that riff that was like da -da 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 -da. and I was like oh that's like really kind of like bright and happy and I just wanted to put something inspiring over it like something that you listen to in your car and you're like hmm yeah, like that kind of thing. Windows down. Yeah, and uh, and I wrote like, I'm a beautiful son of business eyes because at the time I was working at a job where I would get up at four in the morning, so I was uh, literally yeah. up before the sun, opened its eyes every single day, and that's li that's where that opening lyric came from. And then it kind of went into like the theme of the song is like about growing and changing and how you don't just come out of out into the world like perfect. No one does, you know. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you do? Yes. <laughs> no. And uh, and um, that's why it's like that ending verse of the song. Um, I talk about like you have to put in the work, you have to put up the fight. You don't just get to where you're going without it. Um, and if you're where you're going is worth it, you're gonna go through those things. So that's kind of where that whole verse came from. And I think. That's the most proud I am of, of, of I think, lyrically, is this song. It just really came from a deep place. <laughs> I think we all agree that, compared to all of our other songs, it's one of our better performed songs, at least on, on the record. We all are really yeah. satisfied with how we play, because usually there's always someone who's just like, man, <laughs> it sucks when I recorded that, and yeah. we were all pretty stoked on that. We all liked our parts, and the, it's funny, like, the drums were actually kind of last minute, because we yeah. recorded them at one studio, and then we were like, Will didn't like his parts or something, something was up, and we were like, let's just re-record them, and we were actually at the studio to do, like, guitars, and he brought his drums, and we just threw them into this room and recorded them, and we got great tones, like, it sounds really awesome, like, I I really enjoyed what I got out of the, the drums in that recording, but... I don't know, Jordan added a nice little twist on the song at the end that kind of takes it into like a slower, more like Anthony kind of feel. And that's, uh, where did you, like, what made you want to like, take the song in that direction? It needed to be longer. <laughs> it needed to be longer. Yeah, I figured <laughs> with a fast paced song like that, there should be some kind of like slow break. Yeah. Uh, bridge section. Um, and stay tuned for like the next stuff. Thanks. We're really excited. We have one more song for the end of the year coming out. It's gonna be a good one, I think. And it was recorded really well, so we're happy about it. Bye, everyone. Bye! <laughs>